In this video, I'll be showing you an app you can use on your Android device to control the mouse cursor or a joystick in Ubuntu. So I'm running it right here on my HTC One S, and you can move the mouse around there. So it's a trackpad style I'm running here. And you've got the left, right click, middle click, and a scroll wheel. So that's pretty good. So the app's called DroidPad, and there's a couple of different versions of it for Ubuntu. So I'll just open it up there. You can see it's just got connected devices and it's connected. So let's just open up Firefox. Uh, that's the website for it, digitalsquid.co.uk. You can download the PC application on there for like Windows, Linux or Ubuntu. Actually, sorry, not Ubuntu because you have to go across to Launchpad for the Ubuntu release. So it uses a repository. And so you've got two releases of it here. So we have DroidPad Stable and DroidPad 2 Beta. And that corresponds to what you find on the, and the Google Play Store as the stable and the beta. You do have to use the same version of the app. Because when I tried it out initially, I downloaded the stable one and then the beta PPA, the beta repository. So that didn't work. The beta one works for Ubuntu, well, 13.04 and all the way back through 12.10, 12.04, etc. The stable one only works for Ubuntu 12.04 and before. So if you're using 12.10, you're going to have to go with the beta. So it works all right, but it's not brilliant. <laughs> I'm finding there's a few features missing with it. For starters, the app isn't in the Unity list. So if I start typing DroidPad, nothing will appear. To get it, you have to go Alt-F2 and run it as an application that way. Secondly, it's not running as a service application, so you have to be in the GUI and you have to be on, say, the GNOME desktop, your Unity desktop, to run it, ask you for your root password, which pop it in and it all works. But I was thinking I could use it on XBMC, and that would be really good there, but I can't because I don't have the desktop running like that, and it would just be awkward to have to keep typing in the root password every time. So if it ran it as a service application, then that would work okay. <laughs> I wouldn't need to mess around with typing in each time. Using it as the touchpad, you think it would be like a normal touchpad where if you tapped it, it could left click. But it doesn't. See like that. You'd hope it would open in terminal there. No, you've actually got to click on the left button. But overall, I can see it's got some uses for it. It's just a few more tweaks, I reckon it would be there. But hey, hope you found that useful. So thanks for watching. See you later.